Hello everyone! The new and long-awaited Alien TV show is finally coming our way exclusively to Hulu in 2025, and it is titled Alien Earth. After the success of Prey in 2022 and Alien Romulus just this summer, Disney and 20th Century Fox have ramped up development on more projects based on the Alien and Predator franchises. Alien Earth is just one of the first ones. This one is created by Noah Hawley, yeah, the mastermind behind Legion and Fargo. This guy is promising to take the Alien franchise in a fresh and terrifying new direction. So, as I promise in the thumbnail, here's everything you need to know about Alien Earth. Alright, vámonos! So what the hell is Alien Earth? Alien Earth is not only a prequel to the 1979 Alien movie, but also the first story in the franchise to take place right here, on our beautiful planet Earth. The series is set roughly 70 years in our future and 30 years before the original Ridley Scott film. FX Channel is describing the series as a scary thrill ride set not too far in the future, this time the Xenomorph threat lands right on our backyard, making it even more personal. Alright, alright, so what's the plot? Well, here's the official synopsis. A mysterious space vessel crash lands on Earth, and a young woman named Wendy, played by Sidney Chandler, teams up with a ragtag group of tactical soldiers to face the planet's deadliest threat. But wait, there's more! The show will explore the rise of the infamous Wayland yutani Corporation and the race between powerful corporations to create new forms of android life. This adds an exciting layer of tension and intrigue as different factions fight for control over these dangerous technologies, so the Wayland yutani Corporation is gonna be facing some competition. It'll be very cool to finally see what's going on in Earth around the time of the Nostromo, and also, why did humans feel the need to colonize other planets? How did Wayland yutani become so powerful? Who did they beat? Who were their competition? If that doesn't get you hyped, I don't know what will. Oh, and guess what? We already got a look at this show. Yep, fans who saw Alien Romulus this summer got a sneak peek with a 16 second teaser, and now it's online for all the world to see. We'll just have to wait just a little bit longer for a full official trailer. As of now, this teaser shows a feral xenomorph with sharp teeth and lips dripping what looks like drool or maybe blood. This really sets the tone for what looks to be a dark, violent and terrifying series. And even though this is a prequel, it's great to finally get confirmation that everyone's favorite monster will be making an appearance, hopefully throughout the whole series and not just the beginning at the end like Disney will do. Now, now, let's talk about the cast. Leading the series, like I mentioned, is Sidney Chandler as Wendy. Wendy is gonna be a hybrid or metahuman with the consciousness of a child, but the body of an adult. This is gonna add a complex and possibly very controversial twist to the story, depending on how they handle this. But you know the internet, they're gonna be wild about this. Joining Chandler is gonna be Timothy Oliphant, you know, from The Mandalorian, Justified, Deadwood, Fargo, and so many others. He's gonna be playing Kirsch, Wendy's synthetic mentor and trainer. Joining them is gonna be Essie Davis from The Babadook as Dame Sylvia, we don't know much about her. Also Lily Newmark from The Sex Education, Alex Lothar from The End of the Fucking World, and Sandra Yee from Foundation, and many, many more. I'm gonna be honest. Many of these actors are fresh faces to me, I don't have time to watch all those TV shows, but hopefully they were chosen for the right reasons, you know, talent and not other ulterior motives, if you know what I mean. So what else do I know about the show? Well, this show officially began production in Thailand in July of 2023 with many setbacks. First, if they shot in Thailand, that means that we're gonna get many location scenes, so that's great to hear. But let's go back to the production challenges, they faced several. First, they had the pandemic, and then the saga after strike, you know, the, act the actor strikes and the writer strikes. The show finally wrapped production by mid July of 2024, that just last month, and now they're in post production. But here's the exciting part it's not just a one and done series. Alien Earth is designed to be an ongoing show, which means if the first season is a hit, we can expect more episodes and deeper explorations into the Alien universe. So if you love this universe, you better start watching because they're gonna need your support. 
And there you have it, friends. Alien Earth is shaping up to be an epic addition to the alien universe with its Earth-based setting, terrifying xenomorphs, and corporate conspiracies. Well, epic addition until we finally get to see the show. But right now, are you excited? What do you think about the idea of xenomorphs on Earth? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. My name is Hector Navarro, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Adios.